Hey what's up everyone, in today's video I wanted to show you guys how you can recover permanently deleted photos on your iOS device. So if you've been wanting to learn how to do that and wondering if it is possible, I'm going to show you exactly how you can do that with this cool app that I have installed in my own iPhone. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to be flipping my camera screen over and showing you guys using my own phone. I'm going to show you the app, how it works and how you can download and install it for yourself. So let's get into it. Okay everyone, so I'm on my phone here now as you can see, so I want to show you the app real quick before we proceed with how to download and install it. So it's this one over here, it's the Photos Recovery app, as you can see over here. So once you open it up, it takes you to your recently deleted gallery section, so it basically looks like your photo gallery on your iOS device. And then you have this big button here that says Recover Plus Plus. So recently deleted there's nothing here anymore and basically all you have to do is click on recover plus plus and just like that I have all of my pictures back that I had permanently deleted so if you want to learn how to do that yourself because maybe you accidentally permanently deleted something that you really need right now or just because you want to go ahead and continue so basically since we are iOS users we are going to first head to our settings so go ahead and click settings and here you just want to make sure that first you head down to battery and then have low power mode turned off just like that and have at least 10% battery in your device and you should be good in that aspect. And then we're going to head back to our settings and we are going to head to general and then we are going to click background app refresh over here. And then up here as well and select either Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi and cellular data, whichever you prefer or works best for you. Just do not have the off option selected, just one of these two. And now we're going to head back to our general settings and we're going to click about. And we're just going to confirm that we have at least iOS version 11. And if we don't have at least that, then make sure that you upgrade your iOS version just to make sure that the app is compatible with your device. And of course, anything above that is good. Now we're going to head back to our main settings and we are going to head down to Safari. Click there and then go all the way down and click advanced. And our final step would be to enable JavaScript. So make sure that the little slider is just like that. And that way we can make sure that where we are going to download and install our app, we'll be able to do that successfully without any issues. So that's a very important step and that is actually our final step with our settings adjustments. So now what can we do to be able to have this cool app like I have in my own iPhone? Basically what you guys got to do is head over to your web browser. It could be Safari or you know if you have another one installed totally fine and you are just going to go ahead and head over here. So head over there type that up just like that and then you're just going to follow the instructions there and you'll be able to get your photos recovery app and be able to recover permanently deleted photos on your iOS device. So yeah guys, once again, head over there in your web browser, type it up just like that, follow the simple instructions, doesn't take more than 5 minutes and get your app. So that's basically it for today's video guys, I hope that you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time, bye!